The elbow joint is composed not only of bones, ligaments, but also tendons. For this video, we're going to focus on the bone or the bony anatomy of the elbow joint as well as the ligaments. For this purpose, let's start by looking at the lateral view of the elbow. In radiographs, this is one of, going to be one of the most important views that we're going to have, especially in pediatric patients in which we look for displacement of the posterior fat pad, which we don't see here, and that's going to be a sign of injury. Here, the first bone that we want to see is the humerus, and this is attaching here to the, or, or it, making a joint with the olecranon fossa of the ulna. On the other side, we can see the radial, or the radius and the radial head, and this is going to articulate with the capitellum. So, although we don't necessarily see it complete here, you see, you can see this is a flat portion, and this is a rounded portion. And that already gives us an idea that this is going to be the most unstable joint. So actually, the radial capitellar joint uh, is a common site for dislocation. It's considered the most unstable portion of the elbow. The trochlea and the ulnar joint are going to be a little bit more stable, as well as the coronary fossa and the trochlea. However, the most stable portion of this is going to be the olecranon fossa. So this, you can see that there's a nice uh, fit to this joint in making it a more stable one. Here we just have an overhead view and this is going to be the olecranon and this is going to be the humerus here. But the actual view that we want to see is this one. So in this diagram we get to see the bones that we reviewed in conjunction with the ligaments. And let's start by reviewing some of the most important ligaments that we're going to see later how they're related to injury. So the, let's start by the lateral ulnar collateral ligament and that's the ligament we're seeing right here. Okay, So this is a lateral and you can see uh, it's a collateral ligament and it attaches from the distal humerus to the to the actual uh, ulna. So that's going to be an attachment there formed by this ligament. We also have the ulnar ligament here and we're going to see, we can see on the other side that we're going to have the radial collateral and we have a portion that's the anterior portion and we have the posterior bundle as well as the transfer, transverse bundle that we don't really see here. So here we see the anterior portion of the radial collateral ligament and the posterior, uh, posterior bundle. Again, this is another view of the joint. Here we only see the anterior ligament being represented, but we see the ulna and we see the radius. And we also have a small, smaller joint here, and that's the radial ulnar articulation, which also provides some stability to the elbow joint. This is a posterior view showing the olecranon as it articulates with the olecranon, with the humerus and the olecranon fossa, which we don't see here. And again, we see the annual ligament providing stability there. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move to the radiographs. And this is going to be important to recognize that these are going to be our typical views for the elbow joint, both in radiograph and later when we talk a little bit more about MRI. So this is a traditional view. And in MRI, we're going to try to replicate this view just because we're more accustomed to it and we want to make it similar so that we can compare. As we go on, we'll compare, we'll talk a little bit more about what we're going to be looking at.